motorsport. Yeah. Put that thing in sports. Shout it bad, pop up like a court. Pop it. You a dork, never been a sport. Pull up, whoop, whoop, jumping out the court. Cotton candy, burn my cup tastes like a bear. What's up guys, this video has been a long time coming and I'm really happy to say that uh, the custom workbench is finally done. It's been about two months, we started it kind of uh, right at the beginning of my Christmas break for school, so right about mid-December. So let's take a quick look at it. So as you can probably see, we're pretty well moved in. We got pretty much all of our stuff onto this new workbench. All right, so as you can see, this is kind of a metal working area, a uh, little piece of diamond plate steel here just to uh, protect the surface of the table from any kind of um, debris or whatever. Um, got a little bench vise up here, pretty nice little tool to have. And then um, one of my favorite things we got is this diamond plate power strip. Actually, both workbenches have one of these. and. They are really, really nice for plugging in tools and whatever else you have to do. And then underneath this workbench, we have storage for this big saw and some little things like uh, the vacuum cleaner. So, and then we have this little shelf over here, basically just paint and stuff like that on there. And then we have some extension cords on that tire, which you can kind of see underneath that. And then up here, bench grinder. And then basically just a lot of little things I use a lot. Um, couple organizers for some hardware and then over here to the left more we have like carburetor cleaner stuff like that and then further over we have um, just all these different little boxes of screws just more hardware and stuff like that on that shelf up here we have even more storage storage was kind of the main goal when we were building this we wanted to have plenty of room to put everything so 
you can just see basic stuff, a uh, little air compressor up there, oil, coolant, random tools, and then up top is kind of like more deep storage. I have pretty much just tons of boxes of car parts and bike parts and stuff like that. So I think I mentioned this in one of the other videos, but we have my dad's toolbox built into this workbench, which makes it really convenient and uh, just saves a little bit of space. And then up top on this one, we have more storage, a lot of power tools and stuff like that, and then deep storage in those black and yellow bins at the very top. Down here we're storing some lawn equipment, small snowblower edger, lawnmower, sprinklers, the big shop vac, just some random stuff like that. And then up here is basically where the bulk of our tools are, uh, wrenches, screwdrivers, hammers, just basic stuff like that. And then like I said, we have another power strip on this workbench. The pegboard is really nice for storing tools and stuff like that, and then we also have these LED lights on all the workbenches, and they're really nice at lighting up the workspace and making it really usable. I want to thank you guys for watching this video, and if you haven't watched the update videos, I would suggest go watching those too. You can learn about how we built this workbench and what really went into it, and uh, I think it came out really good. I have no shortage of projects planned for these workbenches, so stay tuned to see what we do. Thanks for watching, guys.